and we gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with all. And may the Spirit. As we gather here this morning with God's family, with confidence we call upon our Heavenly Father, knowing of His mercy and of His compassion. Lord, you came that we might have life and live it to its fullness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you call us to be a visible sign of your love. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, you will come again in all your glory. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after. Make us always determined to carry out good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Paul, Silvanus, and Tom, and Timothy to the church of the Thessalonians. In God the Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, grace to you and peace. We give thanks to God always for all of you, remembering you in our prayers unceasingly calling to mind your work of faith and labor of love and endurance in the hope of our Lord Jesus Christ before our God and Father, knowing, brothers and sisters, loved by God, how you were chosen. For our gospel did not come to you in words alone, but also in the power of the Holy Spirit and with much conviction. You know what sort of people we were among you for your sake. In every place your faith in God goes forth so that we have no need to say anything. For they themselves openly declare to about us what sort of reception we had among you and how you turn to God from idols to serve the living and true God and to await his son from heaven whom he raised from the dead Jesus who will deliver us from the coming wrath the word of the Lord thanks be to God the Lord takes delight in his people. The Lord takes delight in his people. Sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in, his, in their maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let them praise the name in festival dance. Let them sing praise to him with timbrels and harps. For the Lord loves his people, and he adorns the lowly with victory. The Lord takes delight in his people. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Alleluia, alleluia. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. 
Jesus said to the crowds and to his disciples, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You lock the kingdom of heaven before men. You do not enter yourselves, nor do you allow entrance to those trying to enter. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You traverse sea and land to make one convert, and when that happens, you make him a child of Gehenna, twice as much as yourselves. Woe to you, blind guides, who say, If one swears by the temple, it means nothing. But if one swears by the gold of the temple, one is obligated. Blind fools, which is greater, the gold or the temple that made the gold sacred? And you who say, If one swears by the altar, it means nothing. But if one swears by the gift of the altar, one is obligated. You blind ones, which is greater, the gift or the altar that makes the gift sacred? One who swears by the altar swears by it, and all that is upon it. And one who swears by the temple swears by it, by him who dwells in it. One who swears by heaven swears by the throne of God, and by him who is seated on it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In Paul's letter to the Thessalonians, we have what's considered to be the first written document of what we now call the New Testament. And we see the church is filled with gratitude. We give thanks to God always for you. We give thanks for the power of the Holy Spirit manifested in your convictions. We give thanks for the example that you are sharing with one another. We give thanks to the God who is made visible through you. And I found myself asking myself, what is it that I'm filled with? What is it that we are all filled with? Do we have that sense of gratitude? Do we truly have a sense of gratitude that all has been given to us? For the God that is made visible around us, for the people we interact with, to the God that is made visible through our actions and words. Or do we need to hear Jesus say, Woe to you. Woe to you who say one thing but do another. Woe to you who do this but then say that. We ultimately have a choice to make. And we are the sum of our choices as we go through our habits and routines. Are we truly grateful? Are we appreciative? Or do we simply go through the motions? And I invite you to stand. Together we have the courage to make known our needs and our desires to our loving and compassionate Father. Let's pray for our church, for our Holy Father, our bishops, and all the women and men who serve in the name of Jesus Christ. But then let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Pray for lasting peace and justice throughout our world, tend to war, terrorism, and racism. But let's let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Pray for all those who are affected by the power of nature, through wildfires, through hurricanes, and flooding. But then let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Let us pray that we may truly embrace the heart of gratitude and mindful of our words, deeds, and actions and helping others to do the same. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Pray for an end to the pandemic. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Pray for all those who are sick, hospitalized, and homebound, and all the doctors, nurses, and family members entrusted with their care. For them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Pray for all those who have died, those who have died today, and particularly those who have died alone. For them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Let us take a moment and silently pray for our own intentions.
And we pray for all our intentions, including the intentions of Peyton Matthew Austria, Sister Gemina Nunelizin, and of Felix, Felix Bertha Pontesiano. For them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Good and gracious God, we make known to our needs and our desires. Those we speak aloud and those we speak in the silence of our hearts. We ask that you grant them, for we ask them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread that we offer, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Bless be God forever. And bless for you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine that we offer, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Bless be God forever. And pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your grace, that through the purifying actions of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries that we serve, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvage, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. His coming again in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you, as without end we now acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son and the Highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son and the Highest. You are indeed holy, Lord, the font of our hope. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew for so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and every willing me into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of it, and eat it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the child. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the child of my love, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for me, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. And let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, Lord, and profess your resurrection. <coughs> As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence, minister to you. Humbly we pray that by partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Oscar, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them in to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory 
and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Together now, let us pray for the coming of God's kingdom as Jesus comes. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray for men. Graciously grant peace in our days. And by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. For Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. But not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant to peace and unity in accordance with your will. For you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of that peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. I long to say the word in my soul shall be healed. The 
Bible. Amen. The Bible. Amen. The Bible. And let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give us in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Master today has come to its end. May we go in peace to love and to serve our Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you.